Getting the best education for your children is a priority for parents in Western New York. One of those institutions is Nichols School, a nationally recognized college preparatory co-ed independent school with a 124 year history. Today, we get to see Nichols Middle and High School. Hi, I'm Kim Piazza. Hey Kim, Simon Shabel, nice to meet you. It's good to meet you. Tell us a little bit about Nichols. Well, hey, welcome to Nichols campus. Uh, we're here, our school is 124 years old and we're about to start uh, the new school year and are really excited to, uh, to show you around our campus. And Nichols is a really special place. This is a private school. That's correct, yep. So we are, um, you know, as we enter this school year, we've got about 30% of our students who receive financial aid and um, it's really important to us that we can try and get as many members of the Buffalo community into our school because we think we offer a lot of unique, uh, challenging educational opportunities for students that prepare them um, both for school uh, in the future and for their life. Um, mm -hmm. It's just it's, it's a great campus with a lot of opportunities and we really pride ourselves on being able to, to make those available to people. Tell us a little bit about what makes Nichols so special. You know, I think it starts with the relationships here at Nichols. Our faculty and staff who are really um, experts in their field um, pride themselves on building relationships with every single student. Um, so it you know, starts in the classroom, of course, where they're teaching um, in small classes, where every student sort of has a dialogue with their teachers and with each other. Um, but I think it really goes beyond the classroom and into extracurricular activities where students are sticking around after school with their teachers to build a robot or um, working to write a play for the school in, in the theater. Um, there's just all these opportunities where, where the students can really um, interact with their faculty in a way that is um, beyond the normal student-teacher sure. relationship where they get mentoring um, and really find their own interests and passions. One of the things that we sort of talk to our kids about is we want you to do it all. Mm -hmm. We want you to come in and say, hey, I've never played lacrosse before, but that sounds like fun. I want to try it. And also, I was curious about dancing, and we have a great dance program here at Nichols where they can do that. They can learn to be artists. They can learn to be engineers. And really, for so many kids, it's about finding their passion. And we really think that here, our teachers help inspire passion, and we have so many opportunities that every student finds something that really is going to be their passion for their life. Okay, well, let's go. Simon and I will follow you. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. I'm here with my new friend, Cherie. It's nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, you too. What, what grade are you going into this fall? I'm going into 10th grade. Wow, and what's going on behind us? What room are we in? So this is the uh, science uh, physics room, and here it's the uh, Nichols Robotics Summer Camp. Oh, wow, a robotic summer camp, and you're, you're holding some kind of cool robotic thing here, and I yeah. see that all of your friends behind you are working really hard, and, and you're gonna be a sophomore. What are some of the things that you have really enjoyed so far in your career here as a student at Nichols? Um, I enjoyed the extracurricular activities. They have a wide range of activities. Um, for example, robotics, tennis, uh, Science Olympiad, all those activities were not there in my previous school. It sounds to me, since you're part of the science camp, that you're really enjoying the science end and the robotics end of things. Yeah, um, the teachers are all very dedicated to these camps. Um, they make it fun. Uh, without them, it would, it would be just a couple of students trying to figure some stuff out, so. And it's teachers who are, are, are really involved yeah. in making sure that you understand right. what you're doing and where you're going. So um, I guess back to work, All right. back to robotics work. Now we're going to speak with Derek. It's good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. And Derek is a recent graduate of Nichols. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're off to college. Tell us where mm -hmm. you're going to go. Uh, I'm actually wearing the t-shirt for that right now, the University of Chicago. And what are you, what are you planning on studying? I'm um, planning on studying physics. So um, tell us a little bit about your experience here at Nichols and how you feel that helped prepare you for your future. Nichols offered me something that I don't think any other school can offer, specifically our robotics team. Nichols is one of the only schools in the area to have a FIRST robotics team. FIRST is an international program that uh, pits high school schoolers against each other. And how did you guys do? Well, we competed two years as a team, and both times we made it to uh, the World Championships in St. Louis. That's fantastic. During our build season, our six-week build season, I would live and breathe robotics. You know, you'd have meals with the team, you'd stay here till 9 p.m. We were family. So this was a unique school for you because, you know, it, it gave you the opportunity and the outlet to explore robotics. You're going into physics, and I love how you just told us that you're like a family here because mm -hmm. I think that's a big part of enjoying your education and getting the most out of it. That's right. Thanks, Derek. Thank you. We're here 
here with my new friend Jillian in the Nichols Performing Arts Center. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. And you too. spend some time in this building, don't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of time. Tell us a little bit about the arts program here at Nichols. Um, so your freshman year, um, there's a there's an arts rotation, so you take four arts. And that's kind of to get yourself immersed with the arts, and actually that's how I discovered theater. And then um, after freshman year, you make a choice about what, what art you're going to take for the rest of um, your time in high school. And um, Nichols is actually what helped me find theater. And <laughs> so they encouraged you as a freshman to kind of spread your wings and explore the arts. Yes, definitely. And then you discovered a love for theater. I did, yeah. It's Nichols not, is really great not. about being academically strong as well as being immersed in the arts. Excellent, thank you for sharing with us. <laughs> and Western New York, if you're curious about Nichols and if you'd like to see what it is students like Jillian are doing here on the campus, they have an open house September 27th, Sunday, September 27th. From noon until two, I encourage you to go and check out why this campus is just a wonderful place to be. Thanks again, Jillian. Thank you. The Nichols community challenges students to take control of their learning and to explore, create, and excel. They're located at 1250 Amherst Street in Buffalo. The general information line is 716-332-6300. And find out more online at nicholsschool.org.